Good morning everyone. So it's our final day here in Port Basin today. You can probably hear all the chickens going crazy. It's pretty early, it's like 7 o'clock a.m. And today we're going to be doing another island hopping tour. It is $22 here. And then tomorrow we're going to be heading to El Nido probably. So yeah, right now we're just going to have breakfast and we're going to head there because the tour is at 9 a.m. What are we eating, Carol? We have no idea. So we just went to a local baker's here and I got this thing, I don't know what it is, it's like some cheesy bread with something sweet inside. If any Filipinos are watching, let me know what this is. The crazy thing is though, this was only 10 pesos, which is like one, no it's five pesos, right? Five pesos, which is like one cent. So that was one cent bread, that's crazy. We're at the main beach here where we gotta wait through the boat tour. We got here really early though, it's like 45 minutes too early, so yeah, we're just gonna have to chill out here a bit. But look at this, super peaceful once again. Really amazing place here. <laughs> Okay, first up we got snorkeling and we gotta try and find some sea turtles. Okay, now we've come to an island it's called Maxima Island. You can see here, super beautiful blue water. So you got one island here, and then there's a second island over here as well. So how long have we got here? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, so we got like 30 minutes and then we're gonna have lunch. Carol snorkeling over here. Did you see anything? Yeah, little fishes. Little fish. Well, this looks really spectacular. So this island was actually the, one of the main things that we wanted to see on this trip. It's one of the reasons why we did it. It's just a shame that we can only spend 30 minutes here. I was hoping we could spend a bit longer, but at least we got to see it. Ah, uh, okay. It's a German island. German island. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ina Ladelan Island Resort. Take some photos. Uh, so, 
like right now. All right, we've now come to this really cool island resort here. Wasn't expecting to come to an island resort. I thought it was all like remote islands. And here is where we're going to be having like lunch and stuff. We're going to be preparing fish for us. So we got an hour to chill out here and then, yeah, we're going to get some food. decided to explore this little island a bit and we literally found a place there isn't a single person here at all like for some reason nobody else comes here they just stay in the more I don't know the area with the hammock but to me this is way better still can't get over the color of the water in the Philippines though like this amazing turquoise color insane I'm gonna have a quick snorkel here because it looks like there's probably a lot of good like corals and stuff here. Hopefully there is. Yeah, some really nice corals and fish here. I even saw this weird thing. I'm not even sure what it was. It looked like a clam or something. It was like closing. Never seen anything like that before. But yeah, I kind of feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. You can see it's just all these cool little islands around everywhere. Yeah, this place is something else. Completely different to the island tour that I did in Honda Bay. fish <laughs> tons of fish so our final stop is starfish sandbar my first ever sandbar you have a lot of these in the philippines and i don't know if there's starfish here we'll see soon but yeah you can just see everybody walking over there like really shallow water so let's head that way Starfish? Oh, a lot of them. Yeah, it's four, right? Or oh, five. Six. Six? Yeah. Oh, yeah. basically did three islands and 
three separate snorkel. So definitely get your money's worth for $22. It was a lot cheaper and a lot more beautiful than the Honda Bay tour. And tomorrow we're gonna to be heading to El Nido, so stay tuned for that video. As always, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.